Chelsea versus Slavia Prague. And yes, as you heard by Gonzalo Iguain, we are going to Slavia Prague. We are going to need lots of rotation, guys. I mean, I cannot, ex I cannot stress the importance of rotation. We play Liverpool Sunday. We need to kill this game off within the first 15, 20 minutes. Two or three goals within the first 15, 20 minutes. I know it's not going to be easy. Slavia Prague is no pushover, as you can tell by the Sevilla, Sevilla game. I mean, honestly, I would not has, have expected them to beat uh, Sevilla. You know, Sevilla are very formidable. They, in the past five, six seasons, they've won the, the Europa League three three times, three or four times. I'm pretty sure it's three. Um, so they're very, you know, respectable. We should respect them. But, but, we are Chelsea FC. You know, there's no excuses why we shouldn't come in and, and win this game. Um, like, I, like I said, uh, we we should get the first, we should, uh, you know, go in and get the first one or two goals within the first 20 minutes, which kind of plays in Slavia Prague's hands because they're a strong counter-attacking team um, who are clinical. They've shown that they're excellent at set pieces, and we know how vulnerable we are defending set pieces. Uh, so... Just because it, it, we should go in and, and win against Slavia Prague, it shouldn't. It's not going to be easy. Knowing Chelsea, especially the players that are more than likely going to start the game, uh, it's not going to be easy. So uh, we just have to go in confident, and I think we, I think we can get the job done. I think we can get the job done. Um, I want to see, I want to see Ross Barkley. I want to see Marcus Alonso. I want to see. Uh, you know, Kovacic, William, Pedro. I want to see these players play. And Giroud, who is the master, who has mastered the Europa League. He is the Cristiano Ronaldo of the Europa League. It appears to be that way. So, uh, yeah, I want to see these players play because we have Liverpool on on Sunday, which is, in my, in my opinion, the biggest game uh, for the remainder of the season. You know, unless we play the, in the Europa League final. And especially with what's going on with, with Tottenham and Arsenal. They have totally capitulated. I mean, you know, I don't wish ill will on anybody. You know, if you do, then you're wrong. But last night or yesterday's game, uh, when the hurricane was, was uh, apparently had an ankle injury. As you, if you've seen the replay already, you've seen his leg kind of, I mean, his ankle kind of roll. I didn't think much of it, but, you know, he has had his ankle problems in the past. And I, in my opinion, if you were to ask me, I feel like Tottenham, they rushed him back too fast. Like, when he played against Chelsea, you could tell that, you know, he was still a good player, but you can tell he wasn't fully fit. And honestly, yeah, he's, he's scoring goals, but... Ultimately, he's not the same Harry Kane, you know, and in my opinion, right, my opinion, Tottenham are a lot better when, when at least this season, they are a lot better when uh, he's not, he's, he's not playing. They've shown this season that they play a whole lot better. They, they, they're more of a collective unit. It's not rely, heavily relied on uh, Harry Kane to bring the ball up from the defense to the attack because we see a lot. Harry Kane loves to drop in deep. And Son and 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 Daily Alley, they run. They like to run in, in those spaces, those channels that he leaves. He uh, that dead space he leaves in behind. You know, so they don't they they don't have the element. So now they're they're more. Um, I guess you can say they're more pragmatic. They play more of a counterattacking football when he's out. Um, and they're left. They're they're more. Uh, I guess. They're more direct when 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 he's on the pitch. Hurricane is on the pitch. There's no doubt about that. But in my opinion, you know, especially with Son, I don't know where they found him from. I think he came from Bayer Leverkusen. I don't know. Bayer Leverkusen have have produced some some gems recently, and there are, are a lot of more players in the Bundesliga like like uh like Jovic, Jokic. Uh, I forgot his name. I think I pronounced it right. But you know, players that are solid players like solid young players um and especially with the recent comments of what the joke is uh dad not joke is i'm thinking about basketball but um luca i know his first name is luca i can't get that wrong um uh, 
he's linked up to Barcelona and and you know he said his dad recently came out and said his son feels like he he can't he doesn't know if he can play that sort of football which you know I can see why they play a different a different style they kind of try to play like the 2010 Barcelona where they just uh, you know knock the ball around it's kind of slightly different because you know they don't have uh you know they don't have the your Iniesta or your Xavi so you know Rakitic is good but he's not on that level I'm sorry uh, prime Iniesta and Prime Chavi, best midfielder in my opinion, best midfielder duo in, of all time in my opinion. As much as I did hate Iniesta for that that twenty, the two thousand ten, two thousand nine, sorry, two thousand nine run when you know they were blatantly cheating us. I'm not gonna bring that up because we did justify that in twenty twelve, um, which everybody seems to forget. I guess you know they love to bring up. You know, Messi this, Messi that, but you know what happened in 2012? You know, he had the 90 goal calendar year. He scored like 92 goals in a calendar year. But what happened? Like, what what happened? Did they, did they make it to the semifinal? Did they make it to the final? How did they? How did they? How did they? Uh, their season end? Oh yeah, Torres. That is right, Torres. El Nino came back to the Bernabeu, not Bernabeu, but the Camp Nou, and. They would eat it. Anyways, it's not that's not about that, guys. It's not about that. I'm not gonna bring I'm not gonna talk about tactics because this game is not about tactics, alright? For and I at this point I don't even care if we win five four or one nil. I just want the result. I just want to win throughout the season. I think most of us can agree that we just want to win for the rest of the season. Um and if we can finish top three, which is looking more likely, like I said, I do not trust Arsenal. They're not consistent enough. They're so vulnerable defensively like they're I, I would go out I'll, go out on a limb and say they're worse than us defensively that's how bad they are you know and they have several injuries they're they're all on Mizzy Ozil for some reason he just you know he just collects the check every day and he just you know and that's, and that's sad really because I would say before Kevin De Bruyne, I would say Mizzy Ozil was the most complete midfielder the best midfielder in the world you know but you know it's not our problem. That is not our problem. I think we have the team, you know, to finish top three. Because even Man United, they don't look as strong as they used to. Uh, not used to, but they don't look as strong as, you know, when Ole Solskjaer. Ole Solskjaer, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, he first, first became manager. And I knew it was a honeymoon. It was a honeymoon, you know. He, he won. He's, you know... Undefeated, 15 game, however, however long the streak was, I just knew once they faced, faced adversity, you know, their character will show, you know, and and you know, uh, what's it called? Damn it, what was I, what was I about to say? Lost my train of thought. Anyways, it doesn't matter apparently because this, you know, I'm not gonna talk about them. You guys know, um, what's been going on and keeping up, whatever. I don't have to educate you guys on that. I guess. Cause I, I'm 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 excited about the game. You know, I seen the lineup. Well, I haven't seen it, but I know it, it came out. I'm gonna check it out. Uh, hopefully, the names that are supposed to be out there are on there because we need heavy rotation. Like I said, that's the only thing I'm worried about. Um, Aspi Laqueta cannot start. It has to be Zabacosta. If Zabacosta is not available, then obviously Aspi Laqueta has to come out. But hopefully, you know, we play Ampadu. Or, or, or if he's available, I don't know. He, I haven't seen him. Sorry, said that his the only reason why he hasn't been playing like the others is because they're trying to figure out is he going to be a midfielder, is he going to be a defender, or you know where where's what is his position because it's critical on his development if he's finding a position now because that that was the main reason also why Sorry wasn't playing other than the injury. Uh, Ruben lost the cheat because um, if you look at his spell at Crystal Palace and all his other loan spells. Even Antonio Conte, they weren't playing him in his right position. He was playing at strike. Conte was trying to make him a striker. And then at Crystal Palace, he was a right mid, a right wing. You know, so he's been all over the pitch instead of a, a, in his most comfortable position, the number eight role. And he's our best number eight. He just, the only thing that's, that's stopping him from playing now is his fitness and his back. So hopefully that gets resolved. That's a very sensitive, you know, injury. It's almost as sensitive as a knee. I would say I would say it's as sensitive as a knee injury, because maybe even worse because um, your back goes. You know you lose your strength, your balance, and 
pretty much your ability to move as you as you want to, you know. Uh, I know I, we joke around by him being stiff because, you know, um, he he's like a stick man. He he barely he seems like he doesn't move, you know, quickly. But he actually is is quite graceful with the ball and technical technically gifted. So you know, hey, other Chelsea, Chelsea guys, and sorry, you know, if this is this video is a little bit draggy. I'm not gonna edit it out because I need to get this uploaded now. So if I look, if I sound stupid and and you know there's long pauses in the video, I'm sorry. Hey, subscribe if you're new, and I'm out. Up the chills. We off the pride. <laughs>